The world's biggest container ship this week begins its maiden voyage to the US from Asia after picking up cargo in Guangzhou, Hong Kong, and now Shenzhen. The CMA CGM Benjamin Franklin is 20 stories high and longer than the Empire State Building is tall. Its appearance on the Asia-US trade route highlights the problems facing a region heavily reliant on trade. Shipping groups have long been looking at ways to bolster margins, like bigger ships. But too many Asian companies still rely on sales growth, and that is slowing sharply. This week's purchasing managers' indices are a case in point. Manufacturing in developed world economies just about held at a level which implies expansion, but production in Asia excluding Japan has been contracting for the best part of a year now, and last month it slowed further. New orders indices fell for China, Japan, Korea and Taiwan, Asia's biggest exporters of manufactured goods to developed markets. The argument for Asian stocks is that they look cheap and should revert to the mean at some point. Measured by either price to earnings or to book value and excluding Japan, they are well below their long-run averages, and developed world stocks are not. But like other emerging markets, Asian indices are often heavily weighted to sectors which are underperforming right now, such as financials. Strip those out, and emerging markets are not so undervalued. The real problem is that a lot of earnings growth in Asia has been driven by expanding sales, of which a chunk is simply the result of economic growth. Forecasts this year for earnings growth of 8.5% are moderate by historic standards. Typically, expectations start the year comfortably above 10% and then get revised down. Last year's forecast ended at 5.7% and actual growth in 2014 came to just 61 in the meantime, the Benjamin Franklin will soon be superseded by even bigger ships currently in production which will have their own set of eye-popping Empire State-like comparisons. Numbers from Asian companies this year are, alas, likely to be far less impressive.